So let's start. Inhale. When you're ready, I just kind of was like, let's start. Inhale. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Reach your arms up and let's take a big breath in. Sigh it out slowly. <sighs> Taking another big breath. Visualize something you're grateful for today. Put it out slowly. And one more big breath for each other here today. We'll bring the arms back down through the heart. Press into the feet. Inhale, reach up. Look up this time through the arms for a nice back bend. Exhale, we'll come forward, hinging at the waist, and sweep the floor clean right in front of your feet. Then we'll slide the hands up to the knees. Press on the knees with straight arms, looking up for a little back bend. Exhale, hold the knees as you round the back, tuck the tailbone. You might need to be in the middle of the chair or the front of the chair. Then we'll inhale all the way up, look up through those hands. And one of the advantages of the chair is having the back of the chair. If you have a back of a chair, you can lean on, lean back, let that back Board help lift you up. Then we'll exhale, hands come to the heart whenever you're ready. Close the eyes. And as you take in a deep breath, say some gratitude words to yourself for setting aside this time. And as you exhale, exhale any stress away that's mounting up on the shoulders. Just visualize the stress flowing away from you. On the next inhale, we'll open the eyes, look up for a back bend. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold, look down through the feet. Inhale, slide the hands just above the knees, straighten the arms, back bend, cow back, Exhale, cat back, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, rounded back. Inhale, we'll lift the arms up slowly, reach up, look up, back bending. Exhale, namaste, hands to the heart. Take a deep breath in, closing the eyes. Send a word of gratitude to the other folks here with us today in the class. Next inhale, we'll open the eyes, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, round your back. Inhale, all the way up, look up, reach up. Hands to the heart. We're talking about the throat, the neck. That's how we communicate to the world. If it resonates with you, bring your dominant hand to the pit of the throat, and your other hand to the heart. If you could say one word for the whole planet, what would that word be? Silently repeat that word to yourself and imagine sending that world, that word around the world. We'll bring the hands back together. I've been doing that throat chakra meditation all month. And every time I say, okay, I'm going to think of a different word. But the only word I can ever get for the planet is love. <laughs> I think that would help so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's reach your right hand down to the side of the chair, the left arm overhead for a lateral lean. As you're reaching over, reach down that chair, holding the side of the chair towards the floor. Inhale back through the center, reach up, look up, switch sides, find that lean, reach up and over. Slowly come back up, reach up, look up. We'll interlace the fingers, push the fingers towards the camera, Rounding the back, looking down. Also tuck the tailbone. Imagine I'm pulling your arms towards the camera. 
slowly come up, take your time, reach up, look up, place the interlaced fingers on the crown of the head. Slowly look down your body, then gently push the head up into the hand. Try to not let the rest of the spine get involved, just focusing on the neck. On your next inhale, release, reach the arms up, look up, bring your hands to your right ear, drop your left ear to the left shoulder, gently press up against the hand. Notice how as you work on the neck, you might feel it all the way down to the low back. Releasing, reach up. Leave your left arm down at the side of the chair. The right arm reaches overhead or whichever arm you haven't done yet. We don't have to be on the same arm. Reach, reach, reach. Slowly coming back up, we'll reach up, look up through those hands. Interlace those fingers, push them away from you again, rounding the back. Breathing in and out through the nose, bring the hands to the bottom of the chin like a shelf. Lift the chin with the hands, so let the head be heavy. We're not pushing on the hands, but we're letting the head be really heavy on the hands. Start to bring the elbows together to touch. Feel your shoulder blades peeling themselves away from your spine, making sure you're not pushing on that chin. Slowly release. Bringing the hands to the heart, close the eyes, feel what you're doing. And as you're ready, we'll open the eyes. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands sweep the floor. Inhale, halfway up, arched back. Sitting at the front or the middle of the chair, exhale, round the back, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Push through the feet as you inhale, reach up, high look up. Right hand to left knee, left hand reaches up. Watch the hand come around behind you like a shooting star. Place the hand either over the back of the chair or my chair has a hole in the back of it so I can put the hand right on the seat cushion. Sit tall, look back over your opposite shoulder. Now try to notice if the neck is doing too much work. Is it volunteering too much? Should you back out of the neck a little? Now allow that back hand to slowly rise and watch it with your head unless it makes you dizzy. All the way around, grab the opposite knee. Watch that same side hand come up to the ceiling. Watch it turn you around to a twist. Place the back hand where it's comfortable. Sit up tall. And as you twist, look back over the back shoulder. Now check in with the low back and see if it's volunteering too much help. And you back out of the low back a little, make it more about the middle back, or maybe your neck's ready to go a little further. Watch that back hand come all the way up and around. Good, we'll bring both hands up in front of our face and work on the neck and shoulders together. Watch your left hand come out, around, make a big circle and come back up to the center. Watch the other hand come out, around, big circle, back together. Up and around, big circle, back to the center. Up and around, big circle, back to the center. Now, leaving the hands at the bottom lip, bring the hands down in front of you and look down, stretching the back of the neck. And bring the hands up to under the chin, looking up, stretching the front of the neck. 
Always keep a space at the back of the neck. We'll round down. And we'll come up. And we'll round down. And we'll come up. And one more. Feel your neck. Feel your shoulders. Inhale, circle those arms all the way up. Look up. Exhale, circle the arms all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, pressing lightly on the shins. Little back bend. Exhale, slouch the back, round the back, look down. Inhale, slowly sitting up straight. We'll shrug the shoulders, and we're going to try to reach the hands all the way to the floor. Shrug the shoulders. Let's push those elbows all the way down. Shrug, all the way down, and shrug, all the way down. Now we'll circle the shoulders to the front. One, two, three, backward, three, two, one. Pick up the right knee, bringing your right knee towards you. Lifting it up if that's okay. If your low back says, I don't think so, then lean on the back of the chair, or you could just round down towards the knee instead of picking it up. Bring your forehead toward the knee as if they were going to touch. Let the back round, tuck the tailbone, feel the stretch from the back of the neck all the way down to the pelvis. We'll sit up nice and straight. Putting that leg down, inhale, circle the arms, look up. Exhale, circle the arms, look down. Inhale, halfway lift, gently push on the leg. Exhale, round the back, hunch your shoulders up. Inhale, sit up, bring your left leg with you. Pick that left leg up. Everything down affects everything up. So if you are having neck pain, it might even be coming from the low back, or it could even be coming from as far down as the feet. Round down, bring your forehead towards your knee. Slowly sitting up, we'll lower that leg back down. Shake everything off. If you're able to, we're gonna turn Towards the left, the right leg will swing back and do a lunge. So we are sitting on the edge of the chair. If that doesn't work for you. You can sit at the front of the chair and just swing one leg back next to you, but be careful of your knee. We'll reach both arms up. Look up through the hands back then. Bend the elbows 90 degrees. Slowly bring the hands parallel to the ground. And back up, working on the shoulder rotator cuff. Two, back up, and three. Now leave your hands parallel to the ground and try to pinch a pencil between your shoulder blades. Forward and back, forward and back. Now leave the arms all the way down and just come up halfway. Your arms, hands pointing down, up to parallel, hands pointing down, up to parallel. Now we'll turn the palms up right in front of the chest, cross one hand over the other, then squeeze, try to pinch your elbows together behind you. We're trying to get the lower part of the trapezius muscle, and if we can get that to pull the shoulders back and down, we'll create more space around the neck. So let's do that again. Pull back, other hand on top, pull back, Switch the hand on top, pull back, and again, and last time. Pull it all the way back. Try to touch those elbows behind you. It can't really happen, but that's what we're trying to get action happening for, and slowly release. We'll come back to the middle. Walk the feet together, knees apart. Hands on the inner thighs at the knees. We'll crunch up our shoulders and lift up the knees. 
then push your shoulders down, push the knees down. But here's a little added part, just like I was doing earlier. We want to tuck the elbows in. Feel like your neck is growing taller or longer. So we'll hunch up, knees together, shoulders up, pull down, elbows in at your ribs. Shrug your shoulders, then pull all the way down. One more time. Now leave them down, squeeze those shoulders together. Look under your right underarm. Come back to the middle. Just check in and make sure the low back isn't taking over too much. Try to sit right in neutral if you can. And we'll drop the chin to the left shoulder, left underarm. Feel that lateral rotational stretch in the neck. If your neck says no, please listen to your body. Safety first. Coming back out slowly, we'll swing our legs the other direction from last time. Warrior one, your legs, reach your arms back up, look up through the hands when you're ready. We'll bend the elbows, pull them all the way down to the ribs. Then back up, warrior one, come into sun goddess arms, then pull the elbows all the way down. All the way up, all the way down to the very bottom. Pinch your ribs with your elbows for three, two, one. We'll come out of warrior one, turning the face to the front again. We'll leave our left knee bent and straighten the right leg out. Inhale, reach up tall towards the sky. Look up through the hands. Lift through your heart. Little back bend. Interlace your fingers and bring them to the left knee or whatever knee you're working on. Round the back, tuck your chin in, and think about getting your forehead to touch your knee. Slow, steady breath through the nose. Stay relaxed. Tell your body you're doing this on purpose. Then take your time to curl up your spine one vertebra at a time. The last thing to lift is the chin. We'll inhale to reach high. Exhale, twist for a deeper twist. Hold the outside of the knee, backhand by your buttocks on the back of the chair. Sit tall, look back. Now try a deeper twist without forcing your neck. Low breath through the nose, relaxing the body. Take your time to come back out. We'll switch sides. Bend the other knee, round down, bringing forehead towards touching knee. Take your time to curl up. Reach that hand back behind you, the opposite hand on the knee. Deeper twist than last time. Try to sit tall, push your foot in the ground. The straight legs, toes are flexed towards you. Look back over that back shoulder. And you might notice how different you feel on the right side compared to the left side. Take your time to come back out slowly. Good. We'll bend both knees. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Look up at the back of the hand. Exhale, come all the way down. Sweep right in front of your toes. Inhale, all the way up. Look up at the back of your hand. Come down. Tuck the chin in, look down. 
One more time, circle up. And this time, hug both knees in tight. Forehead towards your knee. Hug the tailbone as well. And I encourage you to really actually hug your knees tight. Since our knees are bent, it's safe, safer than when we're standing up with straight legs to roll up your spine. But if that drags on your low back, then just come up with a straight back. Sitting up nice and tall, we're going to kick out both of our legs. And imagine you were doing downward facing dog on the mat. So we'll lean on the back of the chair if you can. Reach up, bend the elbows back. Point the toes, then flex the feet. Look under your right underarm. Look up between the hands. Look under your left underarm. Look down between the feet. If your arms are going numb, tingly, it's okay. Unless you want to give them a break. Leave them there. We're almost done. Other underarm. Up between the hands. Then look straight ahead as we sit up straight. Windmill your arms. One, two, Three big circles back the other way. Clicks and pops are normal, but we don't want any pain. Two and three, then slide down the leg. Now to make it less about the legs and more about your neck and shoulders, do some shrugs. Circles. Stay there. Look over your right shoulder and over your left shoulder. Look down between your feet. Then start to slowly come up. We'll bend both knees. Planting your feet flat on the chair. Place the right hand against your right cheek. It's hard doing right and left over the camera. So start with whatever hand you want on the same cheek. Look over the opposite shoulder. Push your head back against the hand. Wow. Come back to the middle. I had a huge release. I had vertebra up and down my neck pop. And then all of a sudden, my body took a really deep breath and let it out. That's all that stress and tension in the shoulders and neck. So we'll place the other hand against the same cheek. Turn to look to the side. Gently push back against the hand. Take your time to come back to center. We'll place both our hands underneath the bottom lip at the chin. We'll look down, then gently push the chin up against the finger. These are some of my favorite neck stretches. It gets the whole neck, and it's better to do neck laying down if you can do it in bed before you go to sleep or right when you wake up in the morning or just lay down sometime put your feet up on the chair or couch and then do your neck stretches laying down come out slowly we'll take those fingers underneath our chin lift up push down against the fingers 
We're here for about 15 seconds. Breathing. Now, when I'm a student, I'm always talking to my body. Please relax. Please come on neck. Relax for me. Let go. Come on. I don't deserve this neck. Chill out. <laughs> Whatever you want to say to yourself. Slowly release when you're ready. Now, this one's very hard to teach, but if you've ever had a massage where the massage therapist put their fingers right under the base of your skull, and then they kind of pulled your head a little bit. If you've never had it done, it's an amazing, wonderful traction for the neck. So we're going to try to mimic that on ourselves. If you just take three fingers on each hand, place them at the base of your skull, there's like a little horseshoe of bone right there, and then it gets soft. And you actually want it on those corner points. So your fingers are on the bone. Then look up a little bit, and your fingers are going to make a scooping motion. So they stay where they are, but they're pushing up, lifting your head. Now, sometimes I like to yawn on this one. I put a lot of stress in my jaw. But we never want to open it all the way. My TMJ doctor told me just a nice yawn. If we overstretch it, we can make it worse. Ah. When you're ready, we'll release that. Shake out those wrists and fingers. Now here's a very similar neck stretch. And uh, it's one of my favorites, even though it's similar to what we had before. Let's see if I can get this set up here. Get a little closer to you. It's called the the um, salute stretch. So even though it's similar to what we've already done, it's, everything is going to get a little different part of the neck. So see if you feel anything different with this. You take your dominant hand and put it against the opposite eyebrow. So I'm right on bone. I'm not on my squishy temple. Then I'll look towards the elbow and push your head back against the hand. The other shoulder is dropping down. And you might feel how that gets, for me, it gets a lot lower on the neck, on the scalenes where they attach to the torso. Slowly release back to the middle. We'll salute to the other side. Look at the elbow, push back against the hand. Then slowly release back to the center. Let's finish with some shrugs, some circles. And then a lot of neck and shoulder tension. I don't know about you. I have an injury, but also that's stress. And it builds up and builds up and builds up and gets the muscle tighter, tighter, tighter. It's hard to relax them. That's why heat helps a lot or um, magnesium helps a lot to relax those muscles that are tight. So this exercise, I know I've done it before with you, but for me, it's very relaxing. And it also brings attention to where I need it. I woke up with a migraine this morning. So this is something I would do to help get that whole area to relax and try to let go of the tension and stress. Just rub your hands together to get them nice and warm. When you feel the heat in between your hands, then you'll just place your hands close to your face and try to acknowledge heat coming out of your hand. And we all know the human body is warm to the touch. 
So feel that warmth coming out of you. Then we'll take the fingertips just to the hairline and very softly make some circles with your fingertips, but enough that you're actually moving the scalp around. We want to move the scalp full of blood veins all the way down towards your ears. When you get to the temples, make some very soft circles. You can move the flesh around the temples, but we don't want to dig into the temples. And one of my favorite parts, right above the eyebrows, there's that bony ridge. Just imagine we were a caveman with a big forehead and little soft circles right above the eyebrow. When you make your way back out to your ears, you're going to pinch a little with your thumb and fingers around the ridges of the ears. And if possible, keep your eyes closed. When you get to the ears, take off some clip-on earrings a few times, just pulling them down very gently about three times. Watch out for any jewelry you have. And then like I told you earlier, I have lots of tension in my jaw. You can open the jaw and actually stick your fingers in your cheeks and feel the muscles of the jaw. And slipping the fingers behind the ears, wipe down the back of the neck and across your shoulders like you were wiping away stress. And it was falling off your shoulder, never to come back. Under the chin, same long effilage stroke down your throat to your collarbone. If it feels safe to you, you can actually hook your fingers over the collarbone and pull down a little. Try that a few times if that felt good to you. And underneath the bottom lip, the lips, the fingers and the feet have the most nerves in the human body. So as you massage around that bottom lip, just think about all those nerves you're stimulating. And then your top lip under the nostril, move that around. Now I've heard people say they don't like their smile lines, but I like them because they show me how much you've been laughing. The ridge of the nose. And then around the eye. And then we'll finish just holding your hands in front of your face. It's really easy to get overwhelmed by all of our grown-up responsibilities and to let that stress bring us down and feel like it's never going to end. But we know we're strong, powerful, energetic beings. And anytime you need to be reminded of how strong you are, just do this face awareness stress releaser we just did. Thank you so much for being with me this morning. Namaste.